Macintosh. No. Parentosh. Because, why hack Intosh, when you can Parentosh? At least, that's what they say on the official website. Well, let's get into it. As always, first thing that we need to download is the ISO. To download the ParoS ISO, we need to go to ParoS.xyz slash versions. Here, we can choose between Monterey, Thick Sur, or Catalina. For this tutorial, I will go with the Monterey version. Click on System Requirements to see if your device meets the minimum requirements for this version. Because ParoS is actually Linux with Mac skin, it doesn't need a lot of resources to run. With 4 gigs of RAM and 128 megabytes GPU, you can run it on almost any old laptop or PC. According to the Pear Project team, AMD CPUs are unstable for this OS, and running it on a virtual machine will not show good performance. If it's not obvious enough, fine, I say it. Next step, click on Download Monterey. But first, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so you won't miss any of my future videos. Next, and last thing we need, is a software that creates bootable USB drives. Here we can choose between Rufus or Bellina Etcher. Both are very good, very easy to use, and very free. For this tutorial, I will choose Etcher. Once the download is complete, install Bellina Etcher. Click on Flash from File and select the Pear OS image. Select your USB device and then click on Flash. Now the Pear OS bootable USB is ready, and you can restart your device. While restarting, press the F12 key to go into the boot menu. Common keys for accessing the boot menu are Escape, F2, F10 or F12, depending on the manufacturer. The specific key to press is usually specified on the computer's startup screen. Here, select the USB device and press Enter. As you can see, the OS mimics perfectly the look and feel of Mac OS. From icons, cursors, themes, all the way to the wobbly windows and animated dock. But the similarities also ends here, because, in the end, Pear OS is Linux. And all the apps and services has nothing to do with Apple. Also, some icons, like Pear TV, are there just for show, without any usage, just to look as much as possible like Mac OS. To go on with the installation, click on Install Pear OS Monterey icon, from right corner up. After selecting your region and keyboard layout, you need to choose how and where you want to install the OS. 
that select storage device. Well, you can do exactly that. Select your storage device. First option, install alongside. Here you can install the OS anywhere you have enough space and all the current data on the respective drive will not be affected. Replace a partition. Here you select an existing partition for pair OS and all the data from that partition will be erased. Next option, erase disk. This will delete all the data on the selected storage device. And the last option, manual partitioning, where you can create or resize the partitions yourself. For this tutorial, I choose my secondary storage drive and the first option, install alongside, and I select approximately 300 gigs of storage space. This space will not be visible in Windows as a partition. It will just simply show my drive with 300 gigs less. For the next step, you have to give your data to create a user. That's it. Now you have to wait until the OS is completely installed. This may take a while. All done. Now you can restart your PC and boot in pair OS. If the pair bootloader doesn't start automatically, giving you the option to choose between Windows or pair OS, you need to enter in BIOS. Go to boot priority order. And with the F5 and F6 keys, move pair bootloader on the first position. After that press F10 to save and restart. Now that the pair OS bootloader works properly, you can choose which operating system you want to open. That's it. Pair OS is installed on your device and ready to use. Enjoy.